Hey YouTube, it's Thomas here. So today I got myself a pair of Focal 926. So based on recommendation, uh, I decided to go up to go pick up a brand new Focal. So this is a quick, quick unboxing. Uh, it's not often that I get uh, something that's brand new. Usually I buy uh, used uh, speakers. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. I have to be very careful. It's uh, usually I would just rip the box apart, but given the fact that it's brand new, I'm being like extra careful i'll rather hurt myself than the speakers all right so let's open up the box okay i see we have the instructions here and probably the the screws to go for the feet this is where the feet uh the, the feet the plate is um it's the same as the 836 okay let's continue on all right, let's take a look at the, the base plate. See how does it look like? Whoops, that's not good. One size enough, one size. Okay, there we go. Turn around and let's take out the plate. Oh, here's the feet. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So here you go, you have the the metal spikes, I think that goes in here. And this is the screw for these four here to go underneath the speaker. Uh, yeah, and oops, ah, it comes with a key to screw this in. All right, all right, so I finally got the feet on. You know what? This is this reminds me of the 836, it's the exactly same thing. I have to put this four screws here. You have this plastic thing because. You can either use a spike on the on the floor. Well, I have wood here, so I use this plastic thing that comes with it. So that will help protect my wood floor, wood wooden floor. So this is the glossy black version uh, piano wood. This is the only uh, version that's protected by cloth. Usually it's protected by a uh, plastic bag. All right, so, oops, here we go. I might as well show you the grill. I've already taken it out. And there you go, looks pretty good. It's not very heavy, I was a bit surprised. I guess I'm used to the weight of the 836, uh, which is a bit bigger and taller. So uh, this is a pleasant uh, thing that it's not too heavy. At the back here, it feels like there's leather on it. Well, probably thick leather or something, uh, but definitely very exciting. All right, so now that uh, I've put the, the feet on, uh, the, the base plate on, I turn it around and I can take out this protection. So this one on the top, one on the bottom, it's great for shipping. I don't think it would, you know, it, it gets damaged easily. Uh, you can probably throw the box and it'll be fine. And voila, whoa, look at this. Come over, take a look. It's see the tweeter here is protected by this plastic. It's like, oh man, I feel so scared to take it, take it out. Look at that. Do I just pull it off? Oh, there you go. This looks like the Berlin tweeter, but yeah, we know that it's not. The sticker on the top, I, I, I think I'll just leave it there. Yep. So uh, yeah, definitely it looks very expensive. Uh, the drivers, the, the color of the cone is very different than the 836. And even uh, compared to the 1028, ah, there you go. It's made in France. Oh, you gotta get back a bit. Focus, focus, yeah. So as uh, for those who don't know, the whole speaker, uh, even even the cabinets, they're made in France. So the question is, how do they compare with the 836 and the 1028? Uh, given the fact that I have uh, both those uh, speakers before, uh, I'll do some extensive uh, testing with it and uh, I'll let you know in a few weeks. I have so many stuff to test, goodness. All right, till next time.